Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain Aaron speaking. Welcome aboard this Frankfurt to Stankard service. Our journey time will be one hour and 20 minutes and we'll be cruising at an altitude of zero feet. This airplane is in fact a train. Hey guys, I'm Aaron and welcome to Aaron Plays Fun Fact. In each episode, we invite our friends to ask Aaron some fun facts they didn't know. Let's take a look at today's Ask Aaron video. Hello everybody, I'm over. I live in Montreal. I'm five years old. I run a hydrogen. Why some trains run so fast? Thank you, bye bye. Thanks, Alvin. Alvin wants to know some fun facts about fast trains. Of course, trains can't fly over oceans like airplanes, but that doesn't mean that trains can't run as fast as airplanes. Fortunately, some trains in this modern world are as fast as airplanes. Following is the list of 10 fastest trains in the world. Alvin, you know the top 10 fastest high-speed trains. Let's find out some fun facts about them. Fact number one, what is a high-speed railway? There's no rail standard definition, but a railway system designed for speed above 250 kilometers per hour is generally called high-speed. Sections of these routes may have a lower speed limit for safety reasons. Only 16 nations have high-speed railways. China boasts the world's longest network with 27,000 kilometers of such tracks. Japan, Spain, France, and Germany are the other where tracks dedicated for high-speed trains stretch over 1,000 kilometers. Fact number two, when was the first high-speed network built? Japan's high-speed line between Tokyo and Osaka was inaugurated in 1964. The famous Shinkansen bullet train named for its shape could reach a speed of 210 kilometers per hour. Fact number three, can these trains run on conventional tracks? Most high-speed trains run on conventional tracks, similar to conventional gauge system, but built with stronger material. The train on such a track is likely to have two synchronized engines, meaning power cars, one at each end. Most receive power from roof-mounted pantograms and overhead supply lines. A large part of route alignment is kept strict to support high speed. Although in most countries, these trains operate on dedicated tracks. Many can also run on conventional tracks at reduced speed. Fact number four. What are maglev trains? Unlike conventional trains that use wheels, the maglev is based on magnetic levitation. Electromagnets levitate the train a short distance just above the tracks. These magnets also create the thrust that moves the train. Compared to conventional trains, maglev has superior controls as its acceleration and braking doesn't depend on friction of the track. Fact number five, China surpassing the rest of the world. Due to generous funding from the Chinese government, high-speed rail in China has developed rapidly over the past 15 years. China began planning for its current high-speed rail system in the early 1990s. China's HSR network is expected to reach over 38,000 kilometers by 2025. 
and 45,000 kilometers in the longer term. Far more rail lines than in the rest of the world combined. Every day, China's G17 and G39 trains depart from Beijing stations and arrive in Nanjing after reaching top speed of up to 350 kilometers per hour. While they may not be aware of it, passengers using these trains are experiencing the fastest scheduled railway services in the world. Fact number six, long-term prospects for high-speed rail. There are many long-term benefits we can get from high-speed railway, such as economic viability, transportation benefits, and energy savings. High-speed railway clearly offers a path to lower greenhouse gas emission than other modes of transportation. If HSR services can entice people out of their cars by offering convenience and speed at a low cost. This would dramatically reduce societal energy consumption and carbon emissions. More and faster railway services are beneficial for the environment, reducing emissions by cutting the amount of car and airplane journeys. Thank you, Alvin, about this awesome question about fast trains. Looking forward, while high-speed networks are spreading all across China, Europe, and countries like Japan, the need for speed seems to be subsiding in railway networks of many nations. If you like this video, please hit a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, ring the notification bell, leave your comment or question of what fact we should talk about next time. Well, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.